Hi, I'm Hannah from JapaneseJoshi.com. I've received a lot of comments asking about the different Japanese writing systems. So today I'm going to tell you a bit about them and how they're used. The first thing you need to know is that there are four different writing systems used in Japanese. Kanji, Hiragana, Katakana, and Romaji. Kanji. Kanji was the very first writing system used for Japanese. Before kanji, the Japanese didn't have a way of writing anything. The language was only spoken. So when they came into contact with the Chinese, they were intrigued by their hanzu, or Chinese characters, and borrowed them. Then integrated them into their own language. These days, kanji is mainly used for stems, the unchanging parts of verbs and adjectives. This may not make much sense to you now if you haven't learnt much about verbs or adjectives yet, but it will all become clear once you have. Kanji is also used for most nouns, like Chugokujin, Chinese person, and Ninja, Ninja. Kanji is also used for the occasional adverb, such as Tabun, probably, or Zenzen, not at all. Hiragana. Hiragana was originally created for women who weren't allowed to use kanji in the olden days. They took certain parts out of kanji based on their readings to create 48 different symbols, each of which represented one of the main 48 different sounding syllables which existed within Japanese. However, these days only 46 are used. The sounds we and we, which are also believed to have been pronounced as yi and ye, no longer exist in modern Japanese. We and yi both ended up being pronounced as e, which already existed and we and ye both ended up being pronounced as e, which also already existed, meaning that these characters became unnecessary. This is why in English we called the Japanese currency yen, which was the original Japanese word for it, but the modern Japanese word for it is en. Nowadays, hiragana is mainly used for particles, wa, no, ka, and so on. It's also used for verb and adjective endings and their variations. Again, this may be confusing if you haven't learnt about verbs and adjectives yet, but it's important to know for when you do. Hiragana is also used for most adverbs, like chotto, a little, and itsumo, always. It can also be used for the occasional noun, if the kanji is too complex to bother to learn or write. Even the word hiragana itself has kanji, but is typically just written in hiragana. Katakana. Katakana was created by Buddhist monks as a form of shorthand. Like hiragana, each symbol was derived from kanji and represents one of the remaining 46 main syllables in Japanese. Today, katakana is used to emphasize words, similarly to how italics are used in English. Onomatopoeic and mimetic words, words that sound like things, also tend to be written in katakana. Paku paku, the sound of eating, and zaza, the sound of heavy rain. Some animal and plant species are also written in katakana. For example, same, shark, and yuri, lily, both have kanji, but are more commonly written in katakana. However, the most common use for katakana is transcribing foreign words. Of course, this isn't just for people's names and the names of countries and places. There are a lot of foreign words which are common words used in Japanese, such as Sarariman and Aidor. Though it is true that a lot of the foreign words in Japanese come from English, please bear in mind that they aren't all English. There are also plenty of words from other languages. French and German words in particular are commonly used. For example, the Japanese word for bread is pam, the same as in French, and part-time job is arubaito, taken from the German word arbeit, meaning work. Romaji, romaji, sometimes incorrectly transcribed as romanji or romanji, is the Roman alphabet used in most Western languages. Though rarely used in the Japanese language, Japanese people can still read it. It tends to be used for shop names and brand logos. Other than these uses, Romaji is only really used for acronyms like CD, DVD, and PC. So there you have it. Those are the four writing systems in Japanese and their uses. If you found this video useful, please comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my website, japanesejoshi.com for the written version of this tutorial and other services. And if you want to see more of me, I've got another channel here. Thanks for watching.